All right, what's up guys? Back with another one of these car videos. I don't get very many views on these, but I like making them, so why not? So I got side skirts for here, obviously. They're in my house, but. I'm gonna move my car back up there somewhere and get started on here. I'm gonna try to film more because these other videos I've done, I haven't really filmed all that much. So I'm going to try harder this time. And this may or may not turn into a video, I don't know. So let's move this car up here. I'm going to put the top down because I got my soft top back on. Which, by the way, if you have me on, don't ever, ever take your soft top out. It's a pain in the butt to get back in. Okay. Got a key. Not gonna put my harness on because what's the point? Pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna go grab the side skirts. I'll show you what they look like. We'll go from there. There they are. They're the OEM large ones, so they go right here. Should look sick on there. I already kind of chest fitted them, but yeah, they should look good there. So, yeah, I'll get started. First step take these three uh, things to hold this flash shield out. Got all three out right there. So now Right here they go back here you can't see it back there right under here so then when you put the thing in you can screw that into it so I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna do that right now okay so I've lifted the taken this wheel off lifted the car up a little bit uh, so right here you use this template and you make a mark where the top of it is. Huh? Put this little clip in. What about it? I'm making a video. We'll make it. What do you want me to do? N nothing. I'm talking to the camera. So anyways, that's where that's going to go. And uh, so I'm going to read the next step and do that. So it has this little rail here that the side skirt's going to like kind of sit on. So I have to make, uh, it has this template, so I have to make three holes which hurts, I don't really want to do it, but I guess I have to. Right there, there, and there, and then I'll paint the hole so it doesn't have rust. And that sits like, um, I guess it's gonna sit like this. And yeah, so I guess I have to drill holes, which I just said, so I'll be back to you guys after I do that. So right here I made these little X's and you're just supposed to take this punch and you just make a spot and then I'll take this off and drill an eighth inch hole and then a five sixteenths inch hole and then it has these little rivet things that go there and hold the rail on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now it's way overexposed. Okay, so we've got the rail on. You have to drill three holes, which I hate doing, but did it. And then we, you use a eighth inch, like pilot hole, and then you use a five sixteenths, and then you put. And then it has directions, and you go from there. So basically, that's all I have to do now. I just have to stick the side skirt on where it has to go, 
bolted in, and I think that's it. But I'm gonna read the driving look. Okay, so we have the rail mounted with these little uh, rivet things they call them. So that's on there, and that has this tape here. So I guess now we're just gonna mount it up, and then it says to drill six. There's one, two, three, and then four five six holes we have to drill up like into the pinch wall kind of and so I think what we're gonna do we're gonna peel this tape and we're gonna stick it on and just use the holes as guides instead of punching it like we did for these so yeah we're gonna peel the tape stick it on there and get it bolted in on the top mounts and then we'll drill these so yeah one side screwed is on looks sick Came out really good. So now to start on the other side. Okay, so it comes with this template and it has these lines here and you're supposed to line it up with the front up there, that little seam. So then it comes with this and it has a little cut right there. And you put this here, you determine where it is on that black line and then make a mark, which I've done. So now I'm gonna take this punch and I'm gonna punch holes. Take off this. My side skirt might be in the way. Ugh. Okay, then we're ready to drill with an eighth inch drill bit. And then you drill with an eighth inch drill bit, and then you go back with a five sixteenths. Ready? Yeah. Stop the drips. So the next step, it comes with these little, I don't know what you call them, foam washer things that you put over this hole to kind of keep the, the, uh, that was really bad. Keep the rail off the paint so it doesn't scratch it. So you do that on all three. I can get this to. Okay, so now I put those same rings there and here. So now I'm gonna set it up there. Comes with these little push pins. Lock it in place, and then I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so I got it on. Two there. One back there, so now I'm gonna jack the car up so that we can get under here and we gotta put a couple screws up under there, so like right there, and there's a couple like up up in there. So get those on and then we're done. Alright guys, um I already I forgot to film an outro, but washed the car, waxed it. And uh, it's all done, so now I need to buy another part to do another video on. So I'll go outside and show you guys what it looks like. It looks pretty good. Um, I like how they came out. It's a pretty easy install. So if you have an NB Miata, then you should get them because they're sick and uh, they're easy to install. You just have to make holes, which hurts your insides. <laughs> that, was not good. that was stupid. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to show you what it looks like. Alright, so uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button if you didn't like this. Hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you want to. If you don't, still subscribe because it helps. And I'll have more videos coming out like this week or like the week this video comes out. I don't know. I need to start putting out more content, so I'm going to try harder on that. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I already said that. See ya.